So what I'm going to do is I'm going to redo question 10.2.2, which is the last one. But before I redo it, I want to explain a certain concept so that when I actually answer the question, you guys see where I did what and what, right? So the first part is that we know the fact that since BC was parallel to DE, right? We know the fact that we can say what? We can say that AB divided by BD is equals to what? Is equals to AC divided by what? divided by C E, right? And that's going to be equals to a half, right? Because 5 here, because 5 over 10 is equals to 6 over 12, and then, which is when we simplify, it's going to be a half, which is going to be equals to a half. So we know that, right? In proportion theorem, that's you need to remember the fact that the ratio are equal to each other, not necessarily the length, but the ratio. This are equal to each other. Now, keeping that in mind, what can we do? Since this is equals to each other. Ne? Let's say we need to prove since this is equals to each other, your reason here was going to be what? Line parallel one side of triangle. That would be your reason. All right. So if this exists, as we can have proven it down, the fact that it's a half and a half, since this exists, what can we do? Therefore, we can say that. Therefore, we can say this. We can say the fact that this side, right, divided by this side is equals to what? Is equals to this side divided by this side. So let's check whether they're equal to each other. So now, since this is already proven, I can say that A, B, and eh, divided by A, C is equal to what? Is equals to B, D, divided by what? Divided by C, E. What's A, B? A, B is 5. What's A, C is 6. Right? And what's D? What's B, D is 10. And what's what? What's C, E is 12. Simplify this side. It's going to give me what? 5 over 6. So since this one exists, this one can therefore exist. I hope that makes sense. So now, knowing this knowledge, let's actually answer this question. So I've answered the first part saying, are we allowed to manipulate the proportional theorem like the way I did, which is I'm going to show how I manipulated it, which is was this, right? So the first part is because of I'm just avoiding for you guys to basically go to the first video and come back and see the rest of it. I'm going to show how we first need to prove parallel lines then after proving parallel lines we can use the proportional theorem to solve this equation so the first part is what is that we need to prove that ce ce right is parallel to bd so we need to prove that those two are parallel to each other right de right is a tangent to the graph right therefore this angle this one and it is equals to x and it and since this two are equals to x therefore since this and this are equals to each other opposite angles of a cyclic quads are equal right so this is also x if this is x this is x right then we also proven the fact that if this two are what you call this are equals to each other this and this are equals to each other double lines the reason why is because of they both c e and d e are tangents and they meet at e so it's two tangents at meeting at one point so this is also x right so i've already proven it in my in my video so go watch that to see how i sum that up right so since we know the fact that this and this is x and we see a z right we're proving parallel lines what can we say we can say the fact that c2 angle c2 is equals to angle d2 and is equals to x right and your reason it can be proven because i've already proved and proven it in in my previous video so you can watch it i'll leave the link below it's the last question on it then since this r equals to x meaning it's creating an alternative angle right so let me do it in red it's going to create an alternative angle like this right so what can we say we can say the fact that therefore b d is parallel to what to c e and your reason is going to be what alternative angles right so we've proven the fact that this two lines are parallel to each other so now we can use the proportional theorem so from the first triangle taking the first triangles knowledge right what can we say we can say here the first step is that f e is equals to e d is equals to f c is equals to c b right and your reason here is going to be lines parallel one side of triangle since this one exists remember from the first triangle that actually had values what can we say since this one exists what can we say now we can say that this side divided by this side is equals to this side divided by 
this side so let's do that so now we can say so we can say therefore we can say c f divided by what c c f divided by e f right meaning it's this two and right? it's going to be equals to what it's going to be equals to c c b divided by d e right so since this one exists right because we've proven the fact that it exists because of lines parallel one side of triangle since we proved this one exists then therefore we can say this we can say this and as i said that i've proven it in the previous triangle the one with values we know the fact that this is going to exist right so taking that as it existing what do we want remember that when you're solving this type of question the goal is to arrive here what do we see we see the fact that the left hand side right is what is squared so we need the left hand side to be squared so what can we do is we can square the left hand side but what we do on the left hand side we do on the right hand side there are rules of math so let's do that so we're gonna say we're gonna square both sides which is gonna be c f so when we square both sides we're gonna distribute the square root so now we're closer to getting the answer right what is the beauty about this is that we already have the left hand side right so we have the left hand side now we need to manipulate or manipulate i don't mean like just putting things but putting the right thing so that we get the right answer for the right hand side what do we see we see the fact that in our equation we have d e as the denominator so we are one step closer the only problem is our numerator in the right hand side but what knowledge do we know we know the fact that c b right is equals to c d right and why do we know that we know it from where from here in the equation all right so where's c b c b is here right it's the one that they told us that they're equal it's going to be this one the one that i'm highlighting these two are equals to each other see c b and c d so we know that these two are equals to each other so i'm going to substitute what c b by by c d so let's do that then what do we know what do we know is that from 10.2.1 right we know the fact that c d squared is equals to what is equals to c e multiplied by uh, b d so we're going to substitute this one here so as we see the fact that we're getting closer to the solution right is that we we have the right hand side complete we have the denominator this is squared so we need to get rid of one db right then what do we see again we see the fact that okay cool we on the numerator we have what we have a bd so what's the problem my problem is the ce right so ce right if we go back to the diagram i'm just going to make it in a different color let's highlight it in yellow so that you can see it where's ce ce is here right right we see the fact that C e is equals to what is equals to d e right so now i know the fact that c e is equals to d e right so since they're equals to each other i'm going to substitute the c e by d e so let's do that what do we see since this one is squared we can cancel one of it so our answer now is going to be and we have arrived to the solution see so that's how you would do it so you need to break it down and link whatever you need to do with the diagram i hope this one made a little bit more since and it has clarified the parts that you were confused with.